Yeah, that's dating me right there. The Funk Soul Brother. You talking about that? Yeah. 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 Boom, boom. Johnny and the Greg, we are live. For those of you that are Bear fans, bear down. We won. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. We won. Have a beer. This is my victory beer. I will be having every, I will what? be having one beer every time the Bears win. Well, what are you drinking? Heineken. Heine- oh, well, that's classic. Classic. Good, good. Just in case, just in case the sponsors like this. <laughs> yes. Don't be shy. Send me over a case. I'll, I'll, I'll drink it. Drink it every show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to go deep, deep, deep into the Bears game, but I was, um, it's not very, um, it wasn't perfect, man. But in the NFL, a win is a win and a loss is a loss. And we won today. So live it up. We got a whole week before the world comes crashing down and we play the Browns. <laughs> so, the Browns. The Browns. The Browns also, also won. So I yeah. don't know what the battle cry is for the Browns. Is it, Go Not dog brown. pound or something like that. I don't I, know. I don't, I don't know. Let's I'm wearing, go I'm, I'm brownies. Still, I don't know. I'm still learning. I'm still yeah. Learning. If anybody's a brown fan or you happen to know, put in the comments below. Let us know. Um, yeah. Greg, how was your weekend, sir? It was good. I can my it's weird. Um, my keyboard's not working right now. So I hope uh when I have to type something that <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Hey. Hey guys, don't try to adjust your Facebook page or anything. Like Greg is actually wearing a Bears hat. I, I am. Bought I bought that for you know, him. I bought that bought- for him because we do a little Green Bay Bear rivalry <laughs> little bet thing where he has to wear the hat if the Bears win during the rivalry. But Greg, why are you wearing the hat? Because uh, you know what, I just really enjoyed watching the game today. <laughs> I mean, it was it was fun. We already got Marshall telling me he likes the new look. Um, <laughs> It's yeah, I yeah, I cannot comment on anything on the Facebook page. So I'll I'll talk to you guys through the screen, but I'm sorry I can't like and whatever. Um, You're good. Yeah, it, it. I mean, I watched. I got to watch three quarters of the game today, uh, and then I had to drive home. I was down to my parents for the weekend, and uh, it was just a fun game to watch. I mean, the interceptions, the run back, the I mean, fun. It was a yeah. fun game, and then I yeah. heard that it fell apart a little bit. Uh, yeah, it was a I little bit of a nail biter, but yeah, I would say it was fun and at the same time a little uh, just hat throwing. When I get frustrated, I, I throw hats because <laughs> it should have been honestly, I think 34 to 34 to 17 if we didn't make yeah. any mistakes. So, yeah. anyway, um, but I'm yeah. I'm fully embracing the idea that um. Kind of like you've said for yourself, you're like, you just enjoy football. Yes, you have your team, mm-hmm. but you have no issues with like backing another team in terms of, no. no, I like watching them. It's good. And like even buying merchandise and shit like that. And, you know, because of where I grew up, I grew up around a lot of Bears fans just because ah. geographically located. We were close to Illinois. Um, mm-hmm. it, was, it was just, you know, I get it. And I, if I'm not watching, if I'm not watching the Packers, I'll, I'll watch a Bears game. And so oh, I'm just kind of like what I call myself a fan. Uh, like I said, not when they play the Packers. I mean, I want them. I want right. the Packers to win in, in that right. particular outfit. But um, any other time I'm like, no, I'm I'm good with a with a bear win. You know, so I'm like, oh. you're uh, you're uh, I think you're making several Packer fans just go, what? Yeah, what? yeah, but again, <laughs> and we've discussed this. I yeah. mean, I if you made me wear a Vikings hat, I would fucking burn it. I yeah, mean, there's yeah. just no way. Yeah, I get that. And they lost I, today. They lost. Yeah, today. they did. And Last second field goal. Um, and I don't, I don't know why. Like that's that's the vitriol that's that comes your team, through huh? for me. Like that's that's, your... that's the team I gotta hate, and and I'm okay with the Bears because I know a lot of Packers fans are like, what is that's like kind of mm, that's not right, but. I'm yeah, do I, I kind of get that. There was a time back in the back in the early '90s where Barry Sanders played for the Lions, and he's one of my favorite players. Yeah, because that dude was like a jitterbug, and it was just enjoyable to watch mm-hmm. that guy go, to watch that yep. guy roll. Yeah. So, anyway, why were you down by your parents, Greg? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I had my 25 year class reunion. Uh, Holy fuck, has it been that long already? It has been that long. So big shout out to the Broadhead class in 96. All 20-something of us that showed up to the the reunion. 
And for those that didn't show up because, um, well, whatever, if you had shit going on, fine, no problem. But if you were like, it, it was hosted by one of our classmates that, um, bought an old, an old Ford garage, like a, a repair shop and okay. has cleaned it up, turned it into kind of his storage slash hangout slash, I mean, whatever he does. He got there. a big boy room basically. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, wow. he got, he cool. got, he got a big boy room. That's, you know, away from his house and it's like a man town. cave. A, a bit. I mean, it's, it's not like finished, like some, like, you know, guys will do their basements as a bar or something like that. Or, I mean, it's not carpeted. It's still very much kind of like a garage field, but I mean, it was 90 degrees yesterday and just hanging out in that garage, you know, he had picnic tables set up. I mean, and there's, he's got like this little kind of shed thing. Oh, so he's got like a bathroom and kitchen. He hosted it. Yeah. He hosted um, it. Wow. That's nice. And it, it was cool. I mean, it wasn't, you know, pay 50 bucks at a restaurant for a dinner and like a drink token. And you just hope the food is good. I mean, he, he got pizza from a uh, local pizza place. That's like just nostalgic as hell. And so it was a great time. It really did was. Play, did they play nostalgic music? Uh, well, we did after. Uh, so we were at the garage until about midnight. Okay. And everybody's like, we want to go. Where's the bar that the <laughs> where's the bar that the kids go to? And uh, so we went to the bar called M and J's, which I never really hung out in, even when okay. I was in my twenties. Um, so we walk in there, and there's a bachelorette party going on. So there's penises everywhere, as you do at a bachelorette <laughs> party. And and we were we were we were well into our cups uh, when we walked down there. So that that became a source of entertainment. Um, and the, the, yeah, the music they were playing, I'm like, nope, it, it, it's the, the AMI, the jukebox that you can just send stuff from your phone. Like you yeah. purchase credits on your phone. And, stuff. and I'm like, oh, I looked at him like, yep, I got that. And I had a bunch of credits left from the last time I was at a bar that had that. And I was like, okay, well, we're going to take over the jukebox now and just start playing stuff. And important yeah. question. Did you, cause I, cause Ursula tends to think, and I believe her that it's a must do at a Wisconsin bar at some point in the, at night. And, and anybody that's listening, let me know if I'm right or wrong about this, if you live in Wisconsin, but to play the song, pour some sugar on me by Def Leppard. Did that play? Did that play? That I, I, I didn't play it and I didn't hear it when it was there. Oh, um, you guys didn't do the right thing. No, I guess not. Everybody guess, loses oh, their to... minds when that comes on. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. I should have. I should have played that. Right. Um, That's like. What? I, where are some other must jukebox songs? Brown eyed girl. Brown eyed girl. Uh, Ring of fire. Always a big one. Johnny Ring of Cash. fire. Really? Johnny Cash. Ring of fire. Yeah. No, I, I know the song, but I'm not like that's a that's a must. It, it is up here, dude. <laughs> For real? It I've never. A, heard, yeah. I've been to a lot of Wisconsin bars. I I don't remember hearing. Uh, you know what I remember hearing a lot of California. Like California. Oh yeah, yeah. No doubt about it. That I remember. That's that. not the lyric, but you're right. That's that, that is, is the is lyric. Song. It is no. It's kind of knows how to party. California knows how to party. Yeah. Are you serious? California. Yeah, it's it's Tupac and Dr. Dre. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know who. I know who sings it? They were like Mad Max at that. The video. They're Mad Max. They're like dressed up as Mad Max. I don't remember the video, but I'm. I believe you. Uh, but yeah, that is the song because that's a that's a pretty permanent one on my what I call Greg's current ear candy playlist, which is just stuff I listen to. <laughs> I would swear. Now I'm not saying like because in music they have like a chorus and then they repeat the chorus. So maybe in the first part they say knows how to party California, no doubt about it. I no. don't think no, not, it never says no doubt about it. It never, never says that. Never. No shit. Uh, I no. Thought, wow. I wonder how many right, other songs we are, we are getting some uh, we're getting some fellow Wisconsinites uh, chiming in here. Uh, Julie, welcome to the show. Great to see you. Uh, sweet Caroline, is a, yes, is a, sweet, that's one. yes, ba ba uh, ba, yes. Uh, good old cousin Clay is on. He says uh, one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. Okay, I don't know that. That's Sing that's that. uh, uh, well, that's uh, the one I know the most is George Thorogood and Destroyers, and it's like a ten minute song. Well, I just sing the chorus. One bourbon. One scotch and one beer. Yeah. No, I've never heard it. 
Oh, I can play that for you next time we have a yeah. 15 minute car ride and it'll take All up right. most of the car ride. All right. So, so will November rain, but you don't play that one either. Yeah. Oh, welcome no, to the no. jungle. No, no, take me down to the Paradise City. That's me, yeah, that Guns N' Roses. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Guns N' Roses. Um, the Paradise City. One of my mainstays, and it's a little odd, but so am I. Um, is uh, Moana? No, no, it's actually <laughs> it's Gin and Juice. It's Gin and Juice from gin Snoop Dogg, but it's a cover from a band called the Gords, and they they kind of do like a country ish version of it, but it's like a country jam session. Really. Yeah, it's okay. So it's, it's like it, your I used to one of your go tos is a cover band of a other song. Yeah, which okay. is a lot of my stuff is cover bands of other songs. But um, really, I used to play it in college. I like when you and I lived together. I, I would play it, and it was everybody thought it was the band Fish because when we on Napster when we downloaded our music illegally, Napster. Uh, God, are you bringing us back? Yeah, it was. It was listed as Fish and. It's not. It's a band called the Gords. Oh what my gosh! What say about California? Okay, we're getting we're getting we're getting participation going on up in here. We love it. Um, hey, while you're participating, if you wouldn't mind just hitting that like, that really helps us out. So yeah, just hit click, the like, even click. if you're not going to watch it for very long. Hit the like, please, please do that. What you saying? I, I'm, I'm going. I, I'm going with. Uh, and we got California love. Oh no, Marshall! He just pulled up the lyrics. California knows how to party. California knows how to. In the city of L.A., in the city of good old Watts, in the city, the city of Compton, we keep it rocking. We keep it rocking. No doubt about it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you guys are catching on or you just started watching, I thought for the longest time, I till now basically that California, that song California, no doubt about. I thought it was always no doubt about it, and it's really what Greg <laughs> knows how to party. Knows how to party. I guess yeah. I don't know how to um, party. Yeah. yeah well, uh, Julie also says friends and lows. Uh, I've got friends in little places. Oh, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks she's right. Uh, Cousin Clay says shameless. That's that's another country shameless. country tune. It sounds uh, to me like Cousin Clay likes to be oh, sad Clay. a little bit. No, no. Are these no. sad songs? Are these sad no, country cut. songs? Not really. I don't think so. No? I mean, well, like no. not not Garth Brooks one, but. No, if. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> it's like more the, laid back. Maybe it's you, more he laid is. back. He is. Yeah. Okay. Cousin Clay is laid back as fuck. Uh you would like him. You would like him a lot. He's fun. So Believe anyway, <laughs> yeah, I had my class reunion. Yes, class reunion. And, and like I did, I give the give the shout out to them. It was great. We had a great time. Uh, like I said, went out to the bar, stole the penises off the table, and they had some fun activity. There was there was a who a penis. put it in their mouth first? Uh, <laughs> can you shout them out or no? <laughs> well, it was Adrian. I believe Adrian. it was Adrian. <laughs> Adrian, you took a plastic. He took a he, right? Adrian? No, no. Oh, it was a girl. It was a girl. I I think she did. I think it was, I think she they should put it in her mouth and let she bit it. She like she went down and like oh no, use the teeth and Don't. we went oh god yeah yeah every guy um, would do that for sure. And it was like a blow up one, so it was like you know oh okay it was, it was it lewd. Um, I was thinking a little were, plastic thing that yeah. no no, and then there was a squirt gun involved. Uh shaped like a penis did you open your mouth and get a little water in there no they they, (laughs) but i did it was funny because uh our buddy jeff was there and he's a he's a a police officer so then i'm like search and clear so i got this thing up and um (laughs) there was a girl i don't even know who she was she was with a another group like not dancing on the bar but she was up on like the bar rail like the foot rail to get taller maybe she was standing on a stool or something like that and she was you know, bar dancing as you do, I guess. As um, you do. And just made that. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Right over Jeff's shoulder. And I just, and, and she, she did the full mouth open thing. And I went, oh, okay. Yep. And yeah. Sounds and like you I, had a blast. And if I passed it off, I did. I was, I was out to like five in the morning, which I don't suggest that in your 40s anymore. But um, yeah, you're going to pay for that. I am. I'm <laughs> paying for it now it a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm not, I'm not exactly having a cocktail tonight. Cause I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. My voice um, seems a little rough, but so yeah. I want to ask you time. a question. I want to ask you a question about your, uh, your reunion. Yeah. Did you have, 
like, oh, geez, I don't know if I want to go type of attitude. And then when you got there, you were like, oh, my gosh, you guys just like mm. kind of slip back right into old times type thing, reminiscing. Or was there this um, hesitation from you of I don't want to go there because what if that guy still has a six pack and what if he's an asshole? I, what, I, I was. Told, it? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, there was a little bit of that. I had a lot yeah. of fake conversations in my head before I went because. I mean, it, yeah, I did. I mean, just that the the predictions and what about this? And I, out of the five reunions we've had, I've been to three. And oh, wow. this, being, this being the third one. I haven't and been the, to one. The two that I went for, there was some form of drama at both of those. Not, not with me, just, you know, other people. And you're like, well, what's, what's going to happen at this one? Is there going to be yeah. drama at this one? And some people were upset about the location. Um, that it was in, and Jeremy is the guy that hosted it, that it was in this kind of, you know, fun garage that he had and was just going to be like a backyard barbecue kind of feel. Yeah. That sounds awful. I don't, I understand why they're upset. Where do they yeah, want the what, gymnasium what? from their old high school? I don't, I don't know. I mean, the one uh, woman that complained about it was like, why don't we go somewhere nice where we can dress up? And I'm like, cause not everybody lives in downtown Milwaukee anymore. And we don't want to do that. I mean, I was happy, you know, it, it, I, I wore jeans and a drink Wisconsin Lee t-shirt. It was you know BYOB. What? So you know what? That whole dressing drinks? up nice, that kind of, that kind of, uh, puts a, a stress to it. it believe does. it or not. Yeah. 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 This it's, was, this was some cool. people will come to the nines and some yeah. people look, man, some people, and I'm one of them, by the way, thank God I married a, my, my wife who has good style and she will literally say, she would literally veto yeah. the outfit I've picked out that I think looks fly. And then, you know, she'll be like, oh, hey, hi, are you wearing that? I'm like, no, this is my warm up outfit. This is my pre outfit. Yeah. My the outfit that you're going to pull out of the closet now. So um, I totally overpacked. I, I brought like a, two pairs of jeans, a pair of khakis, like a couple different shirts. And I'm like, yeah. where, where do I? Because, I mean, you, you don't want to yeah, look like course. a. I didn't want to look like a. You're also you know, not sure where you're going since it's not actually predestined. Or well, you and it was we going somewhere, right? Yeah, we knew where I knew where we were going to head, and I I just knew we were going to end up at a bar, at least a bar downtown. You know, downtown, which is a block away. Uh, and it's not. This very is in big. Broadhead, right? This is Broadhead, in Broadhead. Wisconsin. Yeah. So I mean, there's just by quick recollection, there are like three bars downtown that were open that we could have gone to, and I'm like, we're going to end up at one of those. I mean, that's probably what's going to happen or you, we you guys have a did you guys have a football player or somebody in basketball show up that he was the king of the court or king of the field no Scored i mean six touchdowns against polk high no you know, no no nothing did, like that no no uncle rico showed up or anything like that but i mean like a lot of my well, it, he's playing for green bay what, now yeah that's true he's true <laughs> um so like i walked in and again i Things started at six, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll go at like you know six ten, six fifteen. Yeah, so I'm not yeah. like the first guy in the door because it's literally a block away from my parents' house. Was it uh, just you, by the way? Yeah, it was just me. Uh, oh, my wife okay. couldn't. My wife couldn't make it. She had uh, so uh, my wife and daughter um, and a couple of their my daughter's friends scored tickets to the Harry Styles concert at the United Center uh, in your neck of the woods um, for next weekend which meant the homecoming dress shopping that was supposed to happen next weekend had to happen this weekend. So homecoming, when is that? Uh, October 9th for us. And so that just threw off and I'm like, I can go to the reunion on my own. It's okay. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I mean, I felt bad. Everybody loves my wife when, when they see her. And, um, so she was next time you go, you got to invite me. Oh, that would be interesting. <laughs> why, why do you say it like that? Uh, one, you didn't, go to my high school i could but... pretend i could <laughs> pretend i yeah. could be that one guy that they were like who who why why is he here yeah. but we only had a class of 88 so like everybody knew everybody oh. um but we had really 88 88 people yep. mine was 82 uh, graduating class i'm sorry right. I, I i'm no i'm completely wrong a graduating class of 34 not 82 <laughs> i don't know why i thought that you just lost that many people yeah no um, it was very small it was like Which the real I, world in real I, life. I keep I keep forgetting that you went to a smaller high school than me because I mean, while it's a smaller high school, like the no, population, no, no, it's small. Like, but, right? We all fit K through high school. 
right in, in one, one building. building yeah um but it's still oh i got a thing happening here hold on um the the surrounding area yeah is bigger than the surrounding area where i grew up in so that's why i always think that, i see okay and, okay that's why i always think you came from a bigger area or bigger high school than you actually yeah. did oh. um but like when i walked in and i'm like hey everybody and you know the there were a small conglomerate of people already there. Um, it was it was like, hey man, and it was great. I mean, everybody you talked to was happy to see you. What you've been, what you've been doing, you know, uh, how's your job? How's the family? Yeah, you know, sat sat around and you know reminisced. Uh, my best friend from high school was there with his uh, his, his wife um, that I hadn't met yet, and you know just just caught up and would you say this was the best time versus the other two times that's a good question you know what i'm gonna be it may be good just because it's fresh in my head but yeah i think i had a better time at this one or or we're all 40 now the egos have dropped we understand so, we're not conquering the world anymore you know yeah and, it could be and yeah. the, the no no one was trying to prove anything it we're all just, just trying to survive yeah, Even it was just people happy to see happy to see people that we hadn't seen in a while. And Good. and that, that's what it was for me. I mean, a lot of them still live in the same town. So like now they see each other when they're when they go to the kids' football games and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it's Very cool. it's not really a, a catch up for them. But for those of us that are from out of town and don't see them on a regular basis, I had a blast. Yeah. Good. So it was cool. Good, man. Very cool. It was awesome. It was great. Cool. So, uh, anybody else have any ideas about, or have any stories you want to tell or comments you want to make about your high school reunion? If you went, if you didn't go, whatever, just let us know. Yeah. Um, but we're going to slide comments. over to, uh, our little Marvel block because Johnny finally caught up with the rest of the world <laughs> and he went to go see, uh, what go see Chi. Chi. it was awesome. Um, it was a very good movie. Um, we're not going to go too much into it because if you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure. I mean, anybody, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, it's really good. The, yeah. uh, I thought it was, it was, was it highly entertaining, highly was it entertaining, better than you fun. expected. Yeah. Yeah. It kept me engaged and it was fun. And that's all I really want. Like it doesn't yeah. have to win an Oscar. It doesn't have to be the best movie ever. It just needs mm -hmm. to just keep me in it. And like you, I wanted to watch actual real martial Kung arts. Fu. Yeah. Yeah. Show I wanted me to watch Kung it. Fu. Yeah. Show me some real cool stuff. And the way they did it, they did a little bit of what is that one movie that got all the press back in the day? Like Flushing Tiger Hidden Dragon. Yeah. It had a little bit of that, but not enough to make I didn't like that type of style oh, fighting because it wire was really foo? weird. Yeah. Um, it had a little bit of that, and then it had just flat out some just like you said they pulled back the camera and they just let them go yeah that bus fight scene oh awesome is just amazing yeah not only that i thought and you didn't mention this but i would think you would pay attention to this i'm a big fan of any type of fight scenes especially martial art fight scenes if they have a good soundtrack with it yeah yep and, and i thought they did a fantastic job with that because it was like urban hip hop slash Asian yep. there there's actually, I watched a documentary once about the relationship between hip hop and Kung Fu and really, it, yeah, it goes back to like the late eighties, um, mm, mid eighties, I would say, I guess. And how, uh, how the black community really embraced Kung Fu movies. And yeah. I mean, it was, so they brought in a little bit of like the minority piece of like the um the asian culture and the the black culture they had a lot of commonalities in terms of how they were treated in this country uh, historically um but were then they, they just bad no. yes yes <laughs> Go ahead. as a matter of fact they were um but it was uh it was cool i mean it was and how wu-tang clan really started to integrate a lot yes, of their yes. not not just in their music but in their like life philosophies and stuff like that so well, that's cool so yeah it was cool you but mean, yeah are you talking about they pulled in the asian like the philosophies of asian yeah like the um is it rizza from wu-tang clan like 
he studied martial arts and like okay. has has fronted or been producers uh producer of like certain martial arts films like man with the iron fists that, you that remember, made two films and stuff like that i think it was in the 70s um the last dragon oh uh, that was like 86 show enough yeah that guy yeah. love that movie Barry oh, Gordon's too. Last Dragon. You are it's... the last dragon. Yeah. <laughs> the, they got the glow. Yeah. With, with he's doing Ke- like yeah. this. Catching the, to get the glow. Catching the uh, bullet I've met, with the teeth. I've met those actors. I met TMAC yeah? was the name. Yeah, he's he's been to Comic Cons and stuff like that. Has and, he? Uh, I bought a there was a a shirt company called Black Action Tees, and I bought a show enough. Show enough. Uh, I think show. I remember that. Yeah, and and T Mac was there, and I got to talk to him for a little bit, and sure he's cool. Enough. Yeah, it's a it's such a weird movie. You go back and rewatch that. It, yeah, parts of it hold up, but parts of it are like, dude, I still watch the what, ending. What is the, yeah, oh yeah, it's, hey Leroy. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's a good movie. You, you know, it's like, yeah, it gets, is. It's a good movie. It's a fun. Leroy movie. gets Leroy yeah. gets the glow, and you get goosebumps. You're like, yeah. oh look at him, he's awesome. I am. <laughs> yeah, it was a good movie. Um, yeah, so Shang Chi was fun. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly suggest going to watch it in the theater. What, um, and, and spoiler alert, because you know what, you've had three weeks to watch it, it's your own damn fault. Um, who do you think the message is going out to? Like, the rings are sending a message. My somewhere. first thought is Celestials, that's my first thought, but no, I don't think it's that. I think it might be who's the big dragon in the comic books that's not really a dragon, he's an alien, Bing Fang Foom. Yeah, oh, I think it's something there. I think it's something there, or it's some interdimensional thing. Right now, anytime anything is from any other type of dimension, I've noticed there's a lot of tentacles. <laughs> well, <laughs> so that tells yeah, me that's... that tells me that 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 dude from um that Doctor Strange villain is going to be a big bad somewhere. Oh yeah, I thought yeah, Shuma I... Gora. I think his name is yeah. I, he, I mean, I... he's very Lovecraftian people. So. Yeah, it's it's Cthulhu. I mean, yeah. So, um, I mean, I, I don't know if it's going to tie into Eternals or not. I thought that might be the one of the tie ins. Hey, do you think they're going to change Shuma Gorath's look simply because he looks he people might look at that and go, Oh, that's star, that's Starro. They could, yeah, from the Suicide yeah. Squad, the new one we're talking about. People, if you yeah. haven't seen that one, it's a fun movie. It's very fun. Speaking of a weird movie that I didn't give, I thought would be just absolutely dog shit but i watched it i decided to watch it with ursula because again we had to pick something as our daughter was around that we can't oh, yeah. you know we can't we really want to watch american horror story with the aliens and the vampires and yeah i haven't seen an alien yet I've seen a lot of vampires but we really want to watch that we just can't you can't and every time yeah. we have a chance to do it i fall asleep it's on me i fall asleep mm-hmm. and um, so anyway, we watched the movie where John Cena and this girl befriend this black couple as they're getting married. Oh, how holiday weekend holiday. I, th- I yeah, don't know. It's on Hulu. Yeah. It's awesome. Like it's, Is it's it? I'm sorry. It's not awesome. It's fun. Okay. You don't sit there and go, no, oh, this is stupid as shit. No, you're just like, okay, all right. I didn't know it would go this way. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's fun. Okay, John Cena, you little guy, you're funny <laughs> again. You know, um, so it was an- enjoyable. I liked it. I liked it. Uh, cousin Clay said it's called Vacation Friends. Yes. Did you like it, Clay? Because I, I don't know if you watched all of it, but I thought that I watched. I think forty. I watched right when they kind of get to the wedding and they make friends with the dad. Actually. He has the magic. He does the magic mushrooms, and he's about to kill oh, the fox. Jesus. But he thinks it's. But it's really a dog. He didn't know that. I'm at that part. But yeah, like Clay that. said he likes it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it surprised me so far. Like I want to see how it ends, and you know. Anyway, um, the uh, Greg. Speaking of tentacles coming out of different dimensions, what do you think so far of the? We're not going into my sex life, buddy. We've had oh, this discussion. Okay. We're not okay. going to talk about it on here. Well, how about what if the Marvel? Oh, series? oh, yeah. Oh, Would you like to go okay. that route? Yeah, we we can talk about that. Okay, cool. Um, tentacles and sex life. Anyway, um, what do you Japanese. think so far? What do you think so far? Um, at the beginning, I loved it. Now, I don't like it anymore? 
I'm I, it's not that I don't like it. That's like the wrong okay. term to use. Uh, but you, like you know when you when a show is when it's your show, yes, you're on it like the day it drops. Like Loki, you're like yeah, like Loki. It was, yeah. you know, it was Wednesdays are the new Fridays. We were there, man. As soon right. as the family dinner was made, sit down, shut up. We're watching Loki. What if? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like when people talk during shows. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, this. We're not doing that. I mean, we started that way, but now it's if we're if we're catching it on a Friday instead of Wednesday, we're like, okay. Do you think it's because of story, or do you think it's because of animation, or do you believe it's only half an hour, or like why Um, why why do you feel that? Because I'm with you actually. I'm like, if I don't if I don't see it this week, I'm all right. I I think it's because um, I know that it's going to be a contained half hour vignette more or less yeah that i don't need like it, it's like a self-contained thing like i don't yeah. need there's no string tying these all together other than the watcher but i don't see like any kind of buildup of a story where he's going to interfere or do anything like that you you still um, don't see what i see coming no they're no. all gonna uh they're all gonna band together, together? on ultron or something like that i don't i don't i don't, don't? see okay. that yet um right. I thought we were maybe headed that way in the Doctor Strange episode where he yeah. sees Uatu and he's like, do something. And Uatu's like, I can't. That's not, yeah. that's not my purpose. Yeah. Um, interesting comment from Cousin Clay. He says he feels like they're holding back with what if. Like there's a lot more they could do. And he's holding like, back. Yeah. You know what? He might be onto something there. Holding back. I think you're right. Because you do kind of go, okay. After each episode, you do you do kind of do yeah. that. Um, Doctor Strange one was the only one that I felt was like okay, complete. I want to see kind of yeah. what happens moving forward with that guy if it moves forward with that guy. I think I mean, there's will. certainly. I've heard he's no, actually the bad guy in the Multiverse of Madness. That would be interesting. That yeah. would be interesting that he's going um, after that American Chavez. I think her name is the. Like this last episode with Killmonger, I felt the I end was care. just so, so abrupt. Yeah, you're right. It was, you know, Killmonger gets control, roll credits. And I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. Like that's, I mean, I, they don't need to finish it. I mean, I think that was part of the what if is that you don't right. get a self-contained, like there's no real end. Right. But it's just whenever the watcher stops watching that universe and averts his eyes to something else hey are there multiple watchers or is there just yeah one? no it's just like a species like they there are multiple watchers but what i mean is are there multiple what's his name unu or uatu okay uatu are there multiple uatus or is he just kind of channel surfing no no he's he's channel surfing okay and it's these guys exist like outside of outside of the multiverse like they can see the multiverse for what it is yeah and it's a whole race of watchers this now, is how i, I kind of like this is how i like to look at it so the multiverse is like a brick wall and each brick is a universe and yeah. so they're standing there looking at the bricks yep they're just okay. they're just you know all right al, they're just al bundy just just looking <laughs> through <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, in the comics, there have been there have been moments when Uatu has stepped in because the the Marvel they call it the six one six, which is yes. the that universe, Earth, the yeah, where everything is kind of <laughs> everything is built from there. Why it's the six one six, if not just like Alpha, prime. Um, yeah, Prime. But I think because DC took that yeah. concept, um, is it's just where like things spread from the 616. Okay. Uh, and that's why Uatu is so bent on watching it and seeing what happens. And if something catastrophic is going to happen, that's where he has stepped in in the past. I think with some like Galactus stuff and Fantastic Four. And yeah, but yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with, I agree with you. I agree with cousin clay. I agree that it's, it's kind of, it's, they're holding back. And so maybe mm-hmm. they're holding back because they're going to eventually connect it all or they're going to give you something where you're like oh okay or this is this is it i mean look marvel's man we're kind of getting spoiled because every month 
they're putting something out for us. Yeah. And eventually, yep. eventually it's going to stop or it's kind of like, it's kind of like Christmas in terms of if Christmas was every Friday or at the end of every right. month, you'd be like, oh, okay, it's just Christmas. Well, uh, did you see the quote again. from Dennis uh, Villa, Villanueva, Villanueva, the Dune director? No. Oh, yes. Um, yes, I did. I disagree, he, but I did. He, he said that the Marvel movies are essentially just cut and paste with a different with a different paint job on them. Like it's all pretty oh, much I the same. It's all pretty much the same movie with just a different type of flavor to it. And well, isn't there a theory? I, isn't there a theory, Greg, that all there's only so many tell so many different stories to tell in the world. Is that what you're going for? Yeah, there's like there's six main stories that you can tell. Yeah. 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 So I guess he's right. Yeah. I know Julie would know that Monica. She, but she's so there, are but, you, Dune? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it, it's the same. I mean, I get where he's coming from. Um, and while I go, as long as you make that story interesting, like like Chung Chi, which I enjoyed yeah. the hell out of, yeah. then I'm down. I'm okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, but is it is essentially a you know why did like why did Buffy the Vampire Slayer or you know even like CSI and, and these other, these other shows that just do like a villain of the week yes. kind of thing, or like Smallville was doing that for a long time. It wasn't until they started to shake it up and would do more larger storylines that mm-hmm. it worked. Um, and essentially that's what Marvel has done. It's a villain, villain of the week. Yep. Story villain, like whatever that is with some kind of overarching storyline that right. would tie everything together. Right. Um, and we don't know what that villain is anymore in, in um, phase four. Marvel in phase four, I think. Yeah, phase I think. Four, yeah. yeah, no, I think you're right. I think I think you're absolutely right with all that. So, I think what's driving people nuts right now is they don't know how to connect it. Yeah. Well, there's there's no Thanos. There's no right. There's no Fury. It's not Fury trying to bring a team together. It's right. not the team trying to take down Thanos. It's not. You know, we don't know. We know it's going to have something to do with a multiverse. And that's all we know. Right. And it's Um, like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have one question. It said at the end of that movie, it said the 10 rings will will return. My question to you, Greg, is how did you interpret that? Did you interpret that as the 10 ring crime organization or the 10 rings will return? I think it's double. It's okay. a double meaning. It's both. Okay. Yeah. I think the right. 10 ring, the, the 10 rings crime organization is going to get an upgrade because we saw how that mm-hmm. was going to work. Um, which <laughs> it was funny because like a lot of people in my family, they were shocked by that. They're like, is she, is she, is she is she's taking over the crime organ? I'm like, yeah, yeah. she is. Cause that's, I mean, it's be just because, you know, the comics and you go, she's, she's not a good guy. Like right. that's, I mean, she yeah. helped out here, but she's right. not a... She's good, still doing her thing, yeah. Yeah, she's still a crime yeah. lord. Yeah, it's what um, Talia would do if Roz died. Yeah, yeah. She'd take it over. Like, she may be a likable villain, but she's still a villain. Yeah. Um, so, I saw that coming. Like I said, the, the I'm curious to see what the, the Ten Rings are communicating to. Um, what do you think? I don't know. I really... I, I think it's going to tie into the Eternals. I was trying to analyze like that little beacon and i was looking yeah. for it because eternal seems to have a certain uh stylistic um element to it with kind of the almost like vines like metal vines or light or whatever that kind really? of intertwine yeah if if you look close they do that and okay like angelina jolie's sword does that. oh yeah sword like does a, that yeah a couple other costumes look like that that's or the guy happens. that or the comedian that went yeah, that when he shot, yeah, yeah that, you're right. That was kind of, um, so that seems to be like a almost almost like a, a technology thing, or maybe it's organic or both. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and when I was looking at when they showed that inside of their brain, and you're like, well, is that are those those strands oh, that I'm seeing? Yeah, I know that? what you're talking about. Okay, so yeah, look. yeah, I I think we might either we might have way more questions when the internal the 
I can never Eternals. get this. T- Eternals. I can never get this right. I the know. Internals no, I... movie is done, or we're gonna have a lot of stuff answered. Yeah. Or my I, well, I, I think it's gonna be both, but I think it'll give us more direction. Of where I this hope. Is going. Yeah. Yeah. Of like you know, reveal the bad guy. Who's who's the big bad that we're gonna have to face next? Uh, yeah. And I. We, you're doing this, Greg. You're in this. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> um, I kind of wonder if they're trying to do like a twofold bad guy. So, like, the Eternals is going to be one direction. Actually, then, like, I think you're right. I think that multiverse of madness might be something else. Yeah. Like, something else. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know if everything's going to tie in like that. So, yeah. by the way, uh, Wong was awesome. Wong. Always is awesome. Yeah. And uh the best guy was Trevor. <laughs> ben Kingsley. He did great in that. And my proud moment was when my wife goes, Oh my god, I remember him. Johnny, I remember him. <laughs> I was like, This is awesome. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. You actually remember. I have to talk ah, to you. Good job, baby. Yeah. Uh she was like, I remember him. I remember him. And then when Wong came out, she goes, Is is that is that Wong? Oh, no. She said Wang. I'm like, nope. It's Wong. <laughs> yeah. But you were close. Anyway. Yeah. Enjoyed Shang-Chi. Um, I, what if? Okay. And uh, so. And yeah. we'll take it from there. I mean, yeah. I've, there's some great movies coming out here from now, between now and Christmas. Like, Look, I'm a not a, I know, I don't think you are. I'm a big Bond guy. I love Bond. My mom, my mom was a big like, hey, grab some popcorn. Let's sit down. Let's watch this yeah. James Bond movie. So there's a lot of nostalgia with that with me. I'm also a fan of um, Daniel Craig's version of James Bond. I know I'm in the minority of that. A lot of people do not like that. Um, I actually prefer every version except Timothy Dalton, the one guy in a kilt. No offense, Greg. And the... Um, uh, Sean Connery? No, he wasn't in it. It was a guy that they were trying to do before. It went Sean Connery. One guy did one movie. La- you know, Lazenby was his name. Yes, you're right. Yeah, Lazenby. nice job. Uh, I can't remember his friend. Michael. What, Lazenby, you, did you maybe? pull your inner Ken Williams out there? Uh, <laughs> it must have been. Um, yeah. You no, should have done I, this. You should have went. Oh, <laughs> <more. laughs> yeah. Well, um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I remember that, but I think it was just for working in a video store and we would have discussions about Bond. Yeah. Because you know what? I like Timothy Dalton. I thought okay. he was I thought That's he fine. was a good Bond. A lot, but I, again, a lot of people hated him, which yeah. is why he only did two. Yeah, he did two. He did two. two I one. like Daniel Craig and I like what they're doing with the last I saw it was like a three minute trailer in the theater, and it would it looked really interesting because I think they're gonna pull every Thing that he was doing with um all the movies he's been in i guess it so far gonna to, yeah gonna cross over yeah which I is did. cool i so. enjoyed like i enjoyed casino royale um i thought that was good the one right after that i was like oh this is it's like a continuation they're like not it's more like a sequel yeah and not just a not just a new james bond adventure and i'm like well that's interesting interesting yeah um and then the one right after that where M, like they blow up M's office yes. yeah. in an assassination attempt. Yeah. Uh, I would say a time to kill, but I don't think that's right. No, I think it's like Skynet or not Skynet. Sky, yeah. yeah. No, it's not um, Skynet. It's something else. Skyfall. Skyfall. Yeah. Yes. I have tried so many times to watch that film and I fall asleep. Like, oh, really? Yeah, I do. Well, I Javier do. Bordere is the bad guy. Javier Bordere. Yeah. And I like him yeah. too, yeah. but. I, I just get to a certain point and I'm like, oh, and I'm out and I can't. So then I, yeah, some watched. of them are very hit and miss. It has a yeah. very star Trek where the first one's good or the, I'm sorry, every odd one's good. But in this case, it's every, I'm sorry, every even one is good in star Trek. Every odd one seems to be good with this Daniel Craig one. You're really following good, along. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah kind of. I mean, and I like Daniel Craig as an actor. I think, like, I love, <laughs> I loved him in Logan Lucky. I think that is yeah. a phenomenal film that I will watch at any time. I really liked him in Knives Out as that detective. Yes, yes. Um, I liked him in that 
the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, I never saw that. I don't know. I don't know why I never that's, saw it. I that's intense, Greg. So you yeah. got to watch that by yourself or not by yourself, but you got to watch that at like adults only type. You, that's, you've got, well, and you've got to be like prepared for it. Like, yeah, you know, it's, you've got it's it. intense because the it's stuff not, that happens to that girl is just, you're like, oh, like, see, that's damn. Yeah. Um, probably why I've avoided it thus far. Uh, she gets her revenge. Over, overall, I like him as an actor. So, I mean, it, it's not his James Bond that I'm avoiding. Right. It's just kind of this direction they took Bond. Yeah, I get it. Like the I, one, I get it. It's not everybody's. It's not everybody's cup of tea. What's the one where is it? The, is it Skyfall where he, they're really saying that he's aged and like he can barely do make the make like the physical minimums that it takes to be a spy? You know what? I have to rewatch it. I, yeah, I think I know what you're saying. Like he failed a physical or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. I think it's because he was like post. Oh, I think like, that's the one like where PTSD. he gets shot in the chest. And the, everybody thinks he's dead, and they yeah. find him in a bar. So he's yep. like taken off like six months, so he's out of shape, and he's like, yeah. you know, he, 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 you know, he's lost his edge, I guess you could say. Yeah, and that's I watched a little bit of that one, and I was like, I don't know if I like where they're taking the character. I still like the idea, like you know, ten years ago, if they were going to cast Idris Elba as Bond, I still hope then, they do. I, he he has said no. Like, yeah, I know. He, he's gone in interviews and said no. I'm too old now. I don't want to. We do were it. actually talking about this, Ursula and I. Who would you? Who would you? Because she thinks they're gonna go completely out of the box just to like do the woke thing and do a woman. Um, I don't know about a woman. I, I think a woman. you can't do a woman. Well, and here's the concept that I liked, and which opens up the casting. Um, is if you say James Bond is not is not a person that is like when you become 007 you become your james name, bond yeah your name becomes james bond which would explain i mean it's, how it's there's all like, these other bonds yeah yeah it, it retcons kind of the doctor who thing where they can say this mm-hmm. is how why we've had so many actors in so many different eras and this is why um look i just think this. look i just think that if you do a girl it's not gonna work man um, people are gonna really reject it they are i mean let's let's look at legally it, not legally blonde atomic blonde that was a, okay i thought that was very good but nobody seemed to like it and i don't know why i thought it was very know. good it, it it's again you're and i just had this conversation with my mom because she was um saying that she's going to stop watching a show because it's becoming more woke i said they're going after the money like that's all it is right like they can claim that they're being responsible and stuff like that. But I'm like, if they didn't think it would make them money, they wouldn't do it. So if they're going to, if they do cast or change bond to a female, I I think it's because they see a market there that isn't, that is wide open and they want to meet. And so they would do it that way. Um, For me, you think that's all that is to it. You don't think there's mm-hmm. pressure. I mean, we've seen studios given to pressure from social media all the time. Like people are doing it now, and it's not necessarily some, a money thing. I think some. I, I think they would they would take a gamble on it. Okay. I think there would be things that they wouldn't gamble as hard on. Like, sure, we'll make James Bond a woman, but the budget isn't going to be as big. You're not going to have as many big people attached to it. I mean, it wouldn't. Yeah, it it would be different. Well, I, I, I have noticed though that every woman, every Bond girl now can clearly handle herself. She doesn't need James. Yes, I've right. noticed that, which I'm fine with. I don't care yeah. about that. I, I, it, it was never even a thought in my head until somebody brought it to my attention that hey, have you noticed right. that? You know, but um, I'm and, fine with that. I, I mean, it doesn't Ian, bother me. Ian Fleming's original character. Oh yeah, is is very He's different the, than what he was in the book. So yeah, who was uh who's um God, what's that guy from Mad Men? Uh, oh, the character, the character uh, name. Yeah. The character name. Yeah, I know it's John Hamm that plays the John, actual character. Yeah. But what's um, his character name? It's it's very. Anybody in the Man comments? Man, anybody? So nobody watching us anymore. They don't know the comments of John Hamm or or who who was John oh, Hamm yeah. in. In uh, in uh, uh, break and not breaking bad. Damn it, 
Mad Men. <laughs> in Mad, Mad Men. Men. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll wait for that to come up. Yeah. Um but I'm but saying, I know what you're talking. Yeah, he was based like he was like that. Yeah. 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 That's very much what the original yeah. character was like. Yeah. Um for, for current actors who I would cast as James Bond, traditionally he has been a British actor. Like that's just been right. I I said Tom so, Hiddleston. I I would put Tom Hiddleston on that list for sure. Okay. Um, because he's a great actor and he did a spy movie called I think it was called The Night Watchman or The Night Man, where he's like a hotel manager, or maybe it was the night manager. Um night man. It was it was cool. Yeah, no, won that. <laughs> um, but he did a great job with that. Don Draper is what cousin plays. Don That's Draper, that. thank you. Um, so the I so again, Tom Middleton, I would put um uh shoot, that plays Venom. Uh Tom Hardy, I would put him kind of up for mm. that. Mm. It'd be a different, different yeah, kind of absolutely. bond, I think. Yeah. Um but I think he's Hugh Jackman. You know, he's Australian, but so. And you know what? No, I, I don't. I don't see it. You don't see it? Nope. Nope. I see him as Wolverine or I see him as a song and dance band. Hey, I remember when people losing their fucking minds when they showed Daniel Craig the first time. <gasps> he's blonde. What are you people doing to James Bond? He's blonde. Oh, really? up, yeah oh yeah they were freaking out when they first showed oh. him they were I guess freaking I, out that he was blonde i remember i that. guess i missed that um yeah. who else would you, and you hey, see, people at home people it. that people listening in the comments who would you yeah. cast as the next james bond if you want to go female cool give us who uh you think you'd like i'm gonna i'm gonna take a little peek here peek well, I'm gonna I'm gonna like who are some oh people up for it? Oh, somebody said Michael B. Jordan. Really? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Hmm. I I that's not bad. It's a young, it's a young bond. Yeah. Um, which might not, help him out because he could be there for a while. British. Yeah. Well, I, I, I really don't think you have to be. Well, I guess you do if you work at MI6. <laughs> well, I mean, and I mean like, yes, he would he would have to play a british person right um but i think uh traditionally it's been a british actor i mean that's it's like it's almost like harry potter like you didn't get american actors in harry potter ever they were all english actors were they all? um yeah gary Oldman's english yeah totally i didn't know that um oh let's see Christian Bale, Benedict Cumberbatch. No. Bale would be too intense. He would. Be like, uh, it'd be like Bale, relax. Uh, she whittle uh J4. Is that how I say his name? He'd be interesting. Who? Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, share that. Share screen deuce. So I just Googled British actors, uh, but this guy. All right, for those of you that are just joining us, we're looking to see who would be the next James Bond. Yeah. Oh, Mordo. That's all you had to say. Oh, yeah, Mordo. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he's been in stuff. Um, Mordo, yeah. What I about think Henry would... Cavale? Uh, Henry Cavill, yeah. He's, his name has been thrown around. I mean, I could I could, I could see get that. behind that. I can get behind that. I could see that. And because of his size, um, he yeah, would either have to... boy. He'd either have to cut weight, which I don't know if he would want to do or they make him i mean his character his character's fighting style from uh uh mission impossible where he had like, the big stash <laughs> brawler you, yeah you brawler. give him that kind of fighting style and i yeah. think that that would be kind of cool um yeah. oh david oyello he'd be interesting think so? yeah i think so john boyega maybe no He's only, i'm not a so, fan of boyega really I'm really not. I don't. I. I don't know. What about Jude? Uh, oh, Damian Lewis. Damian He's Lewis. fantastic. I, Anybody that has not seen that guy act, you're missing out. I, you uh, in? Oh, Andrew. No, nah, Andrew's too small. Uh, Andrew. Which Andrew? Tom Holland. Oh. That would be an interesting Tom Holland. Like, 
like his first year in the academy of MI6. Oh, that could be if you did like an early, yeah, early James, James McAvoy too would be interesting because he yeah, got he's a good actor. Uh, did you see him? He's a fantastic actor. Oh my yeah. god, uh, in Split. When yeah, he oh, yeah, the, of course. That's why he played what I'm the referring to. Yes, uh, the Beast. Yes. So he's got some size to him too. Like he can, and I'm saying not so much size, but he can do the physicality of the role is what kind of what I'm getting to. Are these um, all actors in the United Kingdom or is this the yeah, people the, that are? Um, I looked up British actors. Oh, so yeah, okay, I see it these are British actors like Ula McGregor. Um, there's Ben Kingsley. See, some of these guys are too. Charlie Hunnam, they, that could possibly. No, I don't see that. You don't, you don't like, he, he was in that. Uh, it's not that I don't like him. I don't see it. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're kind of getting down the line here. Andrew Garfield, no, I don't, I don't really see that either. But yeah. I think we so. hit the top. I think we hit the top of them. Yeah, those um, those are the top ones. So interesting. Yeah, stop the share. Yeah, um, yeah, that is interesting. If anybody else, like I said, I think I've already said this before. If anybody else has any ideas of who they think would be a good James Bond, let us know. Um, we're going to kind of go back just like greg went 25 years back sure throw this out to you people ask you people what you think um would you go back to your reunion or i'm sorry not your reunion would you go back to high school would you go back to high school would you would you relive yeah so for for those of you that don't uh john and i had a in our pre-show meeting we're talking about bringing back topic funder which is uh a segment that we did for a while just a segment yeah, it was, it was, instead of a whole show, it's one segment we throw a question out there and yeah. kind of going back to my reunion uh, recently, would you relive high school? Like, now, All so the years? question, the question would be this, John, are you going back with your collective knowledge now and then redoing high school? Or is it just like you're zapped back in time and you don't remember your adult life? No, I think you have to go back with, what you've got the, now because yeah. what would be the point of going back if you're not going to read that's true it? forever yeah if you do i would i have now wait said, a minute wait a minute does everything happen the exact same way and you're allowed it, to make different directions it wouldn't be able to happen the same way because if yeah, you, you remember if you know what's going in like i'm sorry but there's a couple of people i'm like yeah so i remember a, a distinct issue that happened and I saw an opening for like a punch and I didn't take it. I'd be like, no, I'd take that and knock that fucker out. I mean, there's why, why would you go to violence right away? I was thinking, about I don't, being, I, was thinking I don't about, know. I was thinking about actually studying yeah. <laughs> you were thinking about knocking <laughs> good. people out. I was or I'm asking like, not... that girl out that I never asked out and I should have. Cause you find out 10 years down the line, she had a crush on you. If you just yeah. would have asked. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, certainly those, there's those kind of things too. Like you go, yeah, I would. Or not being afraid to try out for this or do that or stick through this or, you know, I, I, if I, I would go back and I would learn how to play a musical instrument because I never learned how to, yeah, I never learned how to play anything. Well, you're a very musical guy. I could see it shocks me that you actually never did it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it was really because, you know, I tried to toe the line between music and sports in high school because yeah. I wasn't great at either one, but then okay. I didn't actually, I think I was afraid to try in either one. Cause like, if you got really good at athletics, then the music people were not as accepting of you. And if you got really good at the music stuff, well, then the sports people gave you shit. So I think I just reveled in my slightly above averageness in either one it seems to me that you felt in high school just hearing you talk when we've had conversations yeah that you felt like you had to fit into a certain shape. totally yeah you i know, thought there were there were had to be the job i needed to had be, to be yeah i did i did not come into my own until college college i think most people yeah. are like that that's why i think actually Where, honest to god i think that's why people love college is because that's when they became the yeah, it, yeah. It, it became the i didn't give a shit what people think about right or you understood I do. oh nobody cares right yeah. yeah so if you're a comic nerd nobody cares if, if you know weekly D D nights in college there's people who'd be like i think that's weird and you're just like well okay fuck you i don't care yeah. um and i didn't have that 
attitude in high school. Yeah. I, I was trying to make everybody happy and whatever. Yeah. But you were trying to fit in and, and get in some sort of mm-hmm. know, but some sort of group. I guess you were really trying to be some part of somebody's, if you want to go into tribalism and shit like that, you were trying to be in yeah. somebody's tribe. You know, so because you wouldn't be ostracized and be because my tribe didn't exist in my high school. Yeah. Well, Not I full. think actually it did. It's just there either wasn't a lot of you or most people were closet. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. I would, I would probably agree with that. Like the people that were reading comics and watching movies, but still wanting to do athletics and play football yeah. and be yeah. a part of it. Uh, you back know. then you couldn't be a jock and like comic books. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. You don't do that. And, Loser. and because there was, I didn't see anybody else like me. Right. I, I didn't really li- I didn't let my freak flag fly as much as it could yeah. have. I remember watching, cause I was in the same boat with you a little bit. Um, I remember watching like some sort of NFL Sunday. Remember the player Andre Ryzen? Oh, you should. He was a Packer. Yeah, yeah, Andre. Wright. Okay, sure. He played for the Packers, I think, for one year, won the Super Bowl, and like went to yep. Kansas City. Yep. But anytime he caught a touchdown in Kansas City, he would go to the goalpost and stick to it like Spider Man. Yeah. And he and they they were asking him like, "Why are you doing that?" And he was like, oh, "I'm a huge Spider Man fan." And I remember going, "What? What? How did yeah. he? How does he do that? No. Or how? What? He? How did he? He's a jock, you know. And that's how I." That opened my head like, huh. <laughs> you know? and you do both. Yeah, exactly. Stupid ass. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, so I know where you're coming from with that. I totally remember that. So, yeah. So people out there, comments below. Uh, if you happen to catch us, catch this recording throughout the week, or you happen to listen to us on Thursdays when we drop this on all the major yeah. podcast platforms, ask yourself that. Would you, would you relive would you really? Now I can I can tell you from my point of view. I would relive high school just one year though, and that's senior year. year. I had such a great time senior year. Um, it was a very <laughs> scary time for me. But it was also well, a very. Yeah. I think I actually found myself in senior year versus anywhere else. It gave me a huge boost of confidence in who I was going into college. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I think if I asked my two best friends that they would definitely agree with me that they would relive that. It'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I like to do, I like to relive that like on a weekend and come back. (laughs) Yeah. Just go back. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I just, I just want like the, like the, the Marty McFly, like go back for a little bit of time and then come back for it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Go back there, live a little. No, no, not the Marty McFly. Cause you wouldn't, want to bump into yourself you'd want to do the oh. uh, time leap where you jump yeah, that's true yeah you jump into your younger the quantum self. leap yeah yeah quantum leap that's it quantum leap yes you want to do the quantum leap what a great show well, I, I don't think that, that show is truly appreciated it's not it yeah. was it was deep it was a deep show mm-hmm. especially at the end you're like oh my gosh i remember watching the end and going so so is he god or is yeah no the, bar, not- the bartender the bartender no. was yeah. god Oh, he was? He was, yeah. I didn't think he was God. I thought he was just. I always picture like in limbo, there's a bar. (laughs) (laughs) There's some sort of way station um, in between multiverses or something. There's some way station where you just hang out. Yeah. Deep thoughts with Johnny. All right, here we go. We're going to transition. I have a little rant. It's about football. I tried to keep it off. For as long as I could, people about football, um, because I know some of you guys just zone out after this. So this is our last thing of the day. There's something going on in football right now, NFL, that is just pissing me off. There's a huge amount of taunting penalties that are happening now, and it's taking away the game. Like I watched at least three or four plays today where a guy made a good run, and if a linebacker was on him or something and he was like yeah he get a flag for it taunt really yeah it's 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 everywhere like is that a thing is that like a movement that they're doing yeah they're doing a movement where they don't want taunting i think this comes back to the super bowl where 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, after they like walloped Tyreek Hill, he gave them the deuces because oh, back yeah. in the back in the back like in the regular season when the Chiefs played the Buccaneers and the Chiefs murdered them, yeah. that same guy was doing deuces to the whole defense. And now the defense got him. They were like deuces, bro. Came yeah. back to bite you in the ass. And ever since then, it's like everybody's all about this whole. This whole idea. It looks like the Baltimore Ravens are going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Wow, what a game. 36-35. Wow. wow. Yeah, they just fumbled. Anyway, Chiefs huh. just fumbled. Anyway, um, but this whole taunting thing is, is ridiculous. I saw three or four plays today where a guy made a good play in the emotion of the game. Yeah. Especially, look, you've played football at any level. Even if you're out in the backyard, you my kids against your kids, Greg, we're going to talk trash. Yeah. At yeah. some point, we're going to make fun of each other. That's part of competition. Football is a passionate game. And you're going to jump up and like say, you can't tackle me or yeah. you can't stop me. And now they throw a flag for that shit. And it's ridiculous. Like the NFL, look, the NFL I've always understood stands for either not for long or no fun league. And it's <laughs> definitely the no fun league. They're, they want these people to act like robots. Yeah. And I don't understand that. And so people, if, you, if you're still listening to this, let us know in the comments. Like, how, what do you guys think of this taunting stuff? Because they're going overboard with it. Look, I understand if a guy is hurt and he's on the ground, and you're going, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, and you're, you're giving him the business, and this guy's yeah. on, the, on the ground hurt, <laughs> weathering in pain. Yes. Right. You're a jerk. That's man. different. Yeah. But if I make a great play over a guy that's been in my ear all day long, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, you can't stop me, and I get a flag for it, a flag to the point where that play didn't count, Greg. Oh, yeah, they like they like no, that doesn't count. It's 15 Re yards back. Down. It's like 15 oh, yards back. Jesus. And I was like, what? I'd I be honest, I haven't seen as much of that as you have. So yeah. but I understand where the outrage comes from because that's, that's just right. part of the game. Yes, exactly. Like, are you kidding me? Like some of the best stories, even if you go to, imagine if you took trash talking out of basketball. Some of the right. best stories with Michael Jordan happen to center around trash right. talking. Yeah. And not, not only not only Michael Jordan, but everybody. So everybody. NFL, relax. Let these let these young men compete and let their emotions happen. This is an emotional mm -hmm. game. This isn't this isn't robots. So that's my rant. My last question to you, Greg, though, is did you check out Hulu today? Because they had it on red zone again. No, I didn't. I was I, gone. I was, I I was text, at my parents' oh, I was text, home. Yeah, I text you. They had it again. So they might have it. They might have it for a third time. I don't know. Maybe they do it. Maybe this year they did a two week preview, but you missed out, brother. It was awesome. That's how I can watch all the games. Huh? Yeah. So. Oh yeah, you did. You did. I was in the car when yeah. uh, when you texted that. That's so. why I didn't get it. All right, man. I think we're good. All right. Yeah. Well. So, Greg, sign us out, yep. sir. All right, so as you're going through your week, uh, you're look, watching the news, you're doing stuff, you're having some conversations. Remember to, uh, you got to know your audience. You got to be able to know who you're talking to. You want to check your sources, verify those, make sure what you're saying is as factual as you can make it. And while you're doing all that, don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. All right, so for The Greg, this is Johnny. Podcast out, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. You can catch us on Thursday at 12 p.m. If you've missed any part of this episode and you want to catch up, we are on YouTube. We are on all podcast platforms. All right. So take care. Love you all. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. See ya.